Two years ago, Christmas morning, I got woken up and God gave me some lyrics for a song and wrote it out and we played it a few times up here. Well, well, this morning, he woke me up this morning with another song. And I started writing it and then he started dealing with me about how we celebrate Christmas and we should. It's, it's the birth of Christ, but we don't think of his birth as a sacrifice on his part. We always think of his death as the sacrifice when in fact his birth required him to shed his deity. His birth required him to lay down immortality and step into time. His birth required him to feel pain for the first time. And while this earth is all we've known, we, I can't imagine the shock and the horror <laughs> at being in such a shell. So, so what makes his birth so beautiful is the fact that it was sacrifice from the very moment he stepped in to the very moment he stepped out. We talk about the spirit of Christmas being that of giving he displayed that because he didn't just give everything in regards to his life he gave up his immortality for us and that's heavy but it's it's so good because it adds another layer of just how much he was willing to do and is willing to do for you right here, right now. So the next time you say you you gave it your all, did you really? Did you really? If we want to model Christ, we have to model suffering for the body. We have to model suffering for our neighbor's sake. to go to the store with the mind of giving and not receiving. Not what I'm going to get myself, but what I'm going to give to someone else. And just what Sean's word said, if you give only out of abundance, you're never going to go to the next level. The whole point is to give sacrificially. It's not to just give, well, I got $3,000 in my checking account. I can give 300 bucks. All my bills are paid. After all that, I can give what's left. Are you giving what's left or are you giving what's the best? Because when you give sacrificially, you're completely dependent on Him. And that's where He wants us. I feel like that's the word, is He wants us completely dependent on Him. And when we try to build our kingdoms, we're pulling that away from Him. We're saying, I'm dependent on me. Father God, we just, we want to be dependent on you. I ask that you move on our hearts this morning and teach us to give in a new way, not just with money, but with our time, with our relationships, that we're not always fighting to be right. Because nothing about how you were treated was right. Nothing about what you went through was fair. So we have to stop grasping on what's fair in church and holding all these grudges against people that we're supposed to be doing and, and living life with. Draw us into union with you during this season, Father. That we're not going to go around the mountain this next year. That we're moving up, we're moving forward, we're moving onward. We're forgiving. We're loving bigger than we've ever had before. Not so we can win, but for some that someone else can win. We honor you in this place, God. I thank you for every person that showed up on Christmas Day and gave their time to you. They came to worship you. We love you, Lord. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen.